Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red. Ah, it's raining, it's raining. Still, it's been a few good sunny days and uh, we need the rain to bring refreshment. Matthew chapter 26 and today we're looking at verse 54. Jesus says, How then would the scriptures be fulfilled which say that it must happen this way? So Jesus asks a question, how then? And he's really given an explanation in his answer to Peter slicing the guy's ear off. He basically is saying, look, if we're going to try and win battles the way the human race wins battles, we're just going to continue the problem. No, he says God has established a plan. Yeah, the plan was established before the foundations of the world. Man was going to go astray and be in rebellion. And so he said that how then will the scriptures be fulfilled? And this sense of recognising that the scriptures uh, declared historically the prophetic revelations about who he is and what he has come to do and what he would achieve and the journey he would go on. All these things had been prophesied again and again and again, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years before. And Jesus is saying, how then would the scriptures, the prophetic revelations of the things said before by the prophets, how then would these things be fulfilled if I chose now to establish a different way? And he'd been wrestling with God in the garden with regards to the way. He'd already asked God, is there another way? And God said, no, there was no other way. This was the way, the way that would appease the reality of the inappropriate behaviour by humanity in regards to how they had lived on earth could only be dealt with through the way God had established the recovery programme. And it was that his son would suffer and die on a cross and his blood shed would pay for the debt that humanity owed God in regards to its rebellion and the inappropriate lives that we had lived. The only way God could defeat the devil and conquer the power of evil working in man was to get evil out of man. And the only way he could do that was to cause his son to suffer and die on a cross so that we, through his death, could be forgiven for the wrong things we have done because he hadn't done anything wrong. His perfective, perfect conception, the reality of everything that Jesus represented on the earth, pure and holy and glorious and glorious. There was nothing wrong in Jesus, perfect in every way. He was the true representation of God because he is God, because the word God put on flesh Jesus and came into the world and dealt with the issue that caused man to be separate from God, to deal with the evil working in man, to give man the ability to be able to be victorious again and rise up within themselves and say, no, God in Jesus has given us victory in our ability to say no to sin now before we couldn't say no. But now, now in Jesus, he has empowered us to say no. No, there was no other way. This was the only way. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great day. Stay dry and I'll see you tomorrow.